15 Pro Max has been out for a while now and I really wanted to test the cameras of this phone and give you my comparison with these. Now I've had my iPhone 11 for so many years and I just wanted to give you my, my thoughts on what the 15 Pro Max has over that phone. With no further ado, let's get into this video. Apple has made some significant improvements to their cameras this year, though some argue that the quality isn't good enough. Let's dive into the specs of the cameras to see what they offer. The phone features a 48 megapixel main camera with a 24 millimeter focal length and an f1.78 aperture lens. It also has a 12 megapixel ultra wide lens with a 30 millimeter focal length and a f2.2 aperture, as well as a 12 megapixel 5x telephoto lens with a 120 millimeter focal length and an f2.8 aperture. All these features are impressive. Let's look at both low light and good lighting to see how it performs. So now what I did was I went out at nighttime just to test these cameras to push them to their forest capabilities and see what I would get and in a low light environment. Now to my experience it was good and bad at the same time. Now I realized two things which I was getting ghosting on that on these cameras which every time a light was flashing or facing to me i would get these bubbles that are going basically light flares in the camera which was pretty strange for me versus you know using my iphone 11 switching over to 11 pro max i wasn't i wasn't expecting to get these experiences but i was so even though apple said they had coded these lenses in a nada coating to get rid of those light flares so you know these are not big deal breakers for you in low light because these aren't big major problems because it still shoots well in low light now for the front facing camera that's a whole different story the front facing camera tends to hit and miss in a very dark lit environments if you don't have perfect lighting this thing will not focus at the time of filming this i was shooting on i think 7.0 i think it's the 0.2 17.0 .0 that was the version I was shooting on and for the life of me, I could not get my camera to focus when there's light behind me for some reason. It would tend to focus on behind me and tend to leave me dark and blurry, which was really weird. Even touching the, my face just for it to focus on the front facing camera. But in perfect lighting, it worked very well and I didn't have any issues with it at all. I'll be showing you basically everything I've gotten so far and I think it looks really good. Show you guys what the outcome of this 
footage can become after putting a few lots on there. And what I also see that this camera is just more detailed, captures more light than my iPhone 11. I've seen a lot more things being done to this camera, introducing that new photonic engine that they've added to this year's phone. So my iPhone 11 could not keep up with this phone's camera capabilities because of that new photo phot photonic engine. Plus, this, just the sheer wideness of these cameras they let more detail and more lighting so i can do a lot more stuff with these cameras let me know in the comment section what you guys think of all these footage but i like every single one and it's just up to you to know what you're looking for So there you have it guys that's basically everything i took and that is my experience from what i've seen the low light has been you know a hit or miss with certain photos or certain lighting scenarios but when shooting in perfect lighting or daylight it shoots very well and that's it for today's video hope you guys like this one and please hit the like button and subscribe if you like video content just like this one but that's it for today's video i'll see you guys in the next one peace